All right, so there it is. The tail lights painted, the bezels, the rear trim painted, the rear bumper on, the SS emblem in there. Man, better be looking good, looking good. All right, let's show, show you how I did it. So what do y'all think? These right here, should they be white like they are on my car? Should I try to paint them blue? And if you think I should paint them blue, how do I paint that blue to match the car? How? Will that stand out enough? All right, so check it out. This thing is just absolutely nasty. This thing here, you can see it. It's so nasty. We're gonna finish this up because I'll be putting on the back, the back bumper soon. So we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna buff this right here and restore this piece. All right, this is my favorite kind of black stuff for stuff like inside of fenders. Any kind of rubberized undercoating. I've used the rust only, I've used the pylon stuff. I like it. It gives a nice finish. Especially for something like this, it's already kind of rough. Just kind of works. It makes it not to where it's so miserable to use. Let's go ahead and just give it a couple coats. All right, there we go. Hang this up. Nice and pretty again. Check it out. It's just one of those things, like once you kind of see the little specks and stuff like that, you'll always see them, you know? Once you kind of start picking up the little the variances in door gaps and the variances in, in, in paint finishes and stuff and it's just like oh my gosh like it's it's just like you get down that rabbit hole like i know people who, who build cars that they go down those rabbit holes and they start replacing every single little thing on the car before you know it they've made their fifteen thousand dollar car have forty thousand dollars worth of parts <laughs> and it's like it's barely any better but it's all brand new parts you know it's like yeah well if you wanted something brand new, why don't you just buy a brand new car, I guess, you know, at that point. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a well-made car, just to be clear. I mean, I'm a fan of that, right? Like, just kind of building a car right, doing it doing it the best you can. But at a certain point, man, you got to say, like, this is enough. You know, this is, I'm not really doing anything. Now it's just a matter of measuring my my junk to your junk, you know. I don't know. I think that the white... I'm looking at it and if I paint them blue, I think it'll kind of blend into the car too much. And if I paint them gloss black, I don't know. This is the boring part of a painting that they don't show you on the shows. All this little, all this stuff right here, this stuff right here, the sanding is just so monotonous. You get just so kind of like out of it. That's why if you watch a lot of TV shows, they'll say, oh, we spent hundreds of hours on, on this sanding. But it looks like they just sand it and then they paint it. They just scuff it and kind of paint it. But anybody who's ever painted a car, who's ever done these little things, they know that, man, you can, you can spend countless hours on this stuff. I mean, really, the, sky, the, the, the sky's the limit, man. Because there's always more you can do when it comes to sanding or prepping and stuff. It's just like, how much do you really want to do? How much do you really want to spend on prepping this car? You know, how much time, how much effort do you really want to spend on it, you know? Because it's just one of those things. People are like, oh, I want it perfect. Well, for most people as a painter, there's really no such thing as perfect. It is extremely good where most people never see it. But I guarantee it. You look out there. Why do you think those guys are buffing those cars when they're done? Because when they paint them, they're not perfect. They buff them to as close as perfection as they can. You know? That's all you can do. That's all you can do. So don't beat yourself up if you do this it doesn't come out quite perfect on videos it probably looks like it you know i'm like wow it's incredibly hard to find it says it's just for a 68 and i'm hoping it works because some people list the 68 as a different one some people list the 68 to 72 as the same all right now this box is from npd npd is really close to me one of their locations i've always been really impressed with the way that they deliver their products Good because they're close, but super fast shipping, super fast receiving. They don't let you, they tell you right away if there's back ordered parts or something like that. These are my 396 badges for the rear. Headlamp retaining rings. All right, so now we get to take these pretty, pretty bezels and scuff them and paint them. They are, uh, I would say, about as close to perfect as you're gonna get. They're nice and cast. They're marked. These are from SS 396. 
And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just pull the Band-Aid off. Any time that there's a chrome finish, you've got to scuff them really good with some sort of sandpaper or scuffer or whatever you use because the surface is too slick for paint to stick to. Even when you scuff them sometimes, sometimes you still get a little bit of an adhesion issue. So what I've found works best for me is adhesion promoter. I use Bulldog. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds. Just find one that you like. Uh, a lot of people will just need a recommendation. So. I say try Bulldog, see if it works for you, and uh, you just dust coat it, and then you paint it. And it really, for me, it, it really just helps with any kind of new product, like new plastics or something like that, and they just it just really works really well for me. But like I said, there's a lot of different ones, and people have a lot of luck with other ones, but it worked for me, so I just use that one. There we go. That one's nice and scuffed now. You make sure there's no shiny spots. All right, so let's, let's assemble this tail light housing here. This. On here, this 1024 by one inch bolts. My bezels didn't come with any bolts, so that looks so much better. I'm glad I painted them. Here we go. Now I just got to the other one. Look at that. Boom. Look at that, baby. You don't want to get any scratches on them. You want me on this side, baby, or? Uh. Or the other? Yeah. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it, baby. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Alright, so there it is. The tail lights painted, the bezels, the drew trim painted, the rear bumper on, the SS emblem in there. Man, better be looking good, looking good. Alright, so hey, thanks everybody for watching the channel. I really appreciate all of it. And uh, yeah, so the car's coming along great. I uh, hope you like this video and let me know.